Hi, this is Mick. Um, this is just a quick video to show you how to install the WinCNC 64-bit demo version onto a 64-bit operating system. Um, how do you know if it's a 64-bit operating system? Go to Start, Control Panel, Systems, and it says 64-bit operating system. Okay, we're good to go. So what you need to do is you need to copy your entire WinCNC folder off your um, CNC computer. It'll be obviously a 32-bit. Um, I have mine what's called thumb drive, so I copied mine onto my thumb drive. This is my Cobra files. I go right click, then I go to uh, my C drive, and I go paste. If I can find it, paste. <coughs> okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so if I click this, double click on WinCNC, here are all my files. You need to delete the cnc.dat. I'm not going to delete it now. Um, I'm going to get an error message, which I know. And I'm just going to leave it there, so if you get the error message, you know what it is. Okay, next, I go to wincnc.net. Here it is. I go to support current versions. WinCNC 2.5 XX. Then I click on test. I click on WCNC 0504E.exe. This is going to download. I don't want to download it to wherever I normally do. I'm going to load, download it to temp. So I download it. It's already downloaded. It just downloaded. Mine download really quick. So I, I open the download up. Just let me get rid of this. And I click on run. So you can save it wherever you want. I click on run. Here's the really important part. You have to unzip it to your CNC, uh, WinCNC folder on your C drive. So I click browse, computer, C drive, scroll down, WinCNC. Click OK. So here you can see WinCNC. C drive backslash WinCNC, unzip. OK, that's that part done. Close that. So now I've just put all the latest versions onto or overwritten some of my existing versions from my Cobra. So now I go to driver install.exe, double click this. This could take a while. Um, here's a pop-up message, just click on install. So the question would be why would I want to in, um, install a demo version of WinCNC 64-bit? Well I really want the 64-bit version. Um, it gives you uh, more memory and also uh, it's the latest and greatest. You can't even buy a 32-bit computer anymore so just go with the, the latest and greatest and you're good to go. It's still doing its uh, driver install. Um, it should be nearly done in a minute. Still going, okay. Here it says install again. Just a little bit longer. Okay, we're done. So if I go down to wincnc.exe and double click it, 
I get that file required 64-bit operating system. Well, that's the DAT file, the WinCNC, the CNC.dat that I didn't remove, didn't delete. So now CNC.dat, delete. Okay. Go down to the bottom again, WinCNC.exe. That file not found. Would you like to run this in demo mode? Okay. And there is my Cobra WinCNC screen. So, one more thing. Well, actually, maybe two more things. One of them is if you get another error message, you go to Control Panel, User Accounts, Change User Account Control Setting. This slider needs to be at the bottom okay what you can also do if you go to start control panel if you go to systems double click systems device manager you can see that a uh, here is the driver Django is installed for the program. So that is installed for the card. Um, that's another reason why you could also run this is because you might not have the PCI cards installed. Well, they will not be installed on your desktop computer. So anyway, I hope this helps. Um, I'm looking forward to getting my new computer, my new CNC computer then I will be running the 64-bit. Okay, thanks. Bye.